Hey darlings, come on in. Come on in, see Cher. We've got to do a reading. So I'm picking up on someone's energy out there. Really, really strong. Really strong tonight. I wasn't going to come out and do a reading, but uh, I have to. I got to. I got to find out uh, if this is one of my subscribers. What's going on? Anyways, uh, come on in. Uh, grab yourself a drink. Come wrap up and meet Blanky. Say hi to Maximus. Give him a pet. Come on in. Sit beside me. Let's do a reading. Let's find out who I'm picking up. What I'm picking up is someone who is psychic. There's a subscriber out there that's psychic in some way. Some of you may be a reader or... You're psychic in some way. Empath or... I'm not really sure. But what I'm picking up is you're calling on spirit. You're trying to call on the spirit realm. I don't think this is manifesting. I think this is calling upon a higher power to help you. What I'm picking up is someone, someone who's in, in sort of a, a halfway place. Someone who's feeling really, really good. And then out of the blue, feeling really, really bad. Someone who may believe that someone could be spell casting on them or trying to manifest them. So this is what I'm picking up. And uh, an overall feeling of I'm doing better and then I fall back and I fall back twice as hard, right back to step one again, and can't figure out why, and telling yourself that this may be some sort of spiritual warfare. So I just want to pick a couple of cards and find out if I can pick up on who this energy is, and just what might be going on. And the first thing I have is uh, the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups, is, you might as well say, is like a lover's card. So it's definitely someone who is very, very connected with you. Someone very connected with you. Uh, has, hmm. and, and you see, I, I do believe that your instinct... That your intuition is is point on. Uh, if I'm picking, if I'm reaching the person, then I do believe your intuition is 100%. Because I really do feel that this this other side, this other side of you, your possible uh, soulmate. And I, I really do feel they want to take a leap. They want to come forward. They do. They want to take that leap. Wow. Cards are talking. Spirit's talking. Four wands. This is somebody that wants to come forward. They, all of a sudden, they want to marry you. You know, this. I really believe this person's manifesting huge Manifesting big time. Oh my God. Yeah, there, someone's coming. Someone's coming. I got the page of pentacles here. Some, someone is definitely coming. Let me shuffle up some of these cards. See if I can get some clarification here. This is some sort of a spiritual connection. This is a spiritual connection. There's not just you that can feel this. The other person feels this very strong also. This is a uh, definite soulmate. 
We have the Queen of Cups. It's a very loving energy. Queen of Cups is a water sign. Uh, mostly stands for a Pisces. I didn't show that to you. That's Queen of Cups. It's a water sign. It's a Pisces, that's for sure. Um, this energy that is manifesting you, or this energy that wants to take a leap and come forward, is a very passionate energy. Very passionate. Uh, this is an energy that um, all of a sudden wants to come in and do things. Wants to um, work with you now. Wants to work with you. And I do see uh, with the Page of Wands that a message is coming. Somebody now wants to work with you. Um, like I said, you're feeling better, you're, you're doing well, and then you feel, oh my God, it's just, the, the pain and the agony of this connection is unfreaking believable. It, it's like no matter how much time goes by, no matter how much you're separated, it's, the pain is freaking unbelievable. And there is a constant, constant fighting and trying to be on guard against this connection. And when I have the Four of Swords with three on the wall and one on the floor, the Four of Swords, you know, trying to rest and trying to recover, trying, trying to heal, but feeling so guarded, so guarded, and I really believe the reason that there's so much guarding is because this is such a very strong spiritual connection that it's just very, very difficult to try to come out of. And now I have the sun card. There it is. That is one beautiful card. This connection this connection comes together. This will be a beautiful, beautiful connection. Beautiful relationship. Let's see if I can get just a few more cards out here. You got the sun card, darling. It's just going to be okay. Um, but I, I just feel your anxiety. Like, why is this happening? And you're really thinking that maybe somebody is putting a spell on you. Or using some kind of magic or uh, definitely definitely there is manifestation here and uh, this person's going to come forward with a with a cup of love they truly are now right now I feel I feel that even though you're trying to fight this thing you're really not truly doing anything other than battle of the mind battle of this with the spirits um the spiritual warfare and mind warfare but i really feel that you are um staying inside a lot uh if you do go out it's just for a few moments maybe to the store uh it could be uh, just go to work and come home but I, I really feel that you are really in hermit mode and you're, you're not going out with friends. You're not, um, well, with this virus thing going around, nobody wants to go out anymore. But this, this is a thing that's been going on for a while that uh, you haven't been going out with your friends and you haven't been uh, really going anywhere. And I do feel that with the Seven of Wands, with the Seven of Wands normally means uh, uh, some kind of drama and bullshit that went on, but I really feel, Spirit's telling me, that with these surrounding cards, with the Seven of Wands, is a spiritual 
battle that is happening right here, right now. Uh, a battle of minds and a battle of the spirit and, and trying to fight this thing that, geez, that TV is bright. Lord, Lord, Lord. Mm. <laughs> Can you see me at all now? Well, if you can't, all the better. Okay, maybe you can see me by the candlelight. I really feel, you'll excuse me, I'll just turn the light up a bit. Here we go. Okay, now you can see me. Okay, so I really feel that you're, you're, you feel you're almost over this connection. That you've gone through uh, some sort of an illusion. Uh, some sort of a, a thing that wasn't... You, you, I think you feel that your emotions led you into something that truly wasn't there. And I think you're starting to see now that it truly wasn't there. Uh, the connection wasn't there. I think you're starting to see that. But I'm gonna tell you, darling, this is, this is an amazing thing that is happening to you right now. Because your person, as far as I can see, is a very, very, very strong soulmate connection. But you're talking yourself now into, what the hell did I see in this person? Why the hell would I have even thought that maybe I could have loved them? And this is kind of what I think you're telling yourself. And when I get the moon card with the illusion... And I really feel that even though you may be thinking this right now, I'm going to tell you, behind the backdrop of all this, this is a very strong, strong connection. And this is a soulmate. And there's a possibility that there will be an ending and the ending with the world card. And spirit is speaking here. With this ending, a new beginning will come in. I believe you're both possibly, even though one is manifesting, I believe you're both possibly know the fact that this will end. And when it does, it will begin if you know what I mean and I know you know what I mean because you're psychic because you're an empath because you're a reader because you know because you're spiritual and I know you know what I mean and I know you know that and I do see a whole new beginning with the two of wands there looking into the future yeah, you definitely, we have the King of Cups here, water sign. I've already said a Pisces. And this person will definitely give you a lot of love. And there is also the King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles, very loving, uh, makes a good husband and father. Uh, there's also a King of Pentacles. So there may be some rivalry here. There, there may be somebody else whether you know it or not right now there just may be someone else waiting to come in so this ending could be a new two of wands looking towards the future towards someone else but i'm going to tell you and now i have the king of wands all three one two three this is 
diamonds if I was playing with my cards. This is, I mean, my God, no matter what you say. There it is, three kings, three kings. This is a very strong soulmate connection, possible twin flame. And what I see in the past is someone very, very much hurt. Uh, someone who had a hell of a lot of patience with the temperance card. Someone who had a lot of patience with another someone. Uh, believing that the other someone might have drove the sword into their heart. Might have been a little bit unfaithful, untruthful. And uh, judgment comes. Judgment comes. That's for damn sure. Judgment's coming. Um, if there is another person waiting to step in, I really, I, I don't know what right now to say. Um, let's pick some cards, I guess. Just, I have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. Holy crap. With the Nine of Pentacles also comes a warning that uh, uh, money comes. Money comes or relationship extremely blossoms. But not to be greedy with the relationship or not to be greedy with the money. Not so much greedy. Not to be... I'm sorry, not to be thrifty, not to be thrifty, because, you know, here she is in her garden, growing her pentacles, and if she picks them all, they're all gone. you got to wait for them to grow back, right? So just pick one or two, much like the connection. Take a little bit, take a little bit, take a little bit. Little by little by little by little. And it will bloom. It will bloom. I see a, uh, if I'm 100% here with that. Uh, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, I just see that this is blessed. I don't know who I'm picking up on here. This, this is a blessed, blessed connection. This is, uh, I've heard the words divinely led before, but I gotta say, damn. Uh, this is divinely led. It started off very, very rough. Very bad, hard, hard connection. Um, possibility of, of thinking that the other was cheating, uh, mistrust, uh, trust issues. Pain, suffering, and, and sleepless nights, and, and not eating, and just, that's nasty, nasty. But this is, this is an amazing, amazing connection. So when they return, little by little, take a little bit, take a little bit, and enjoy each other. And it will grow, and it will grow, man, holy. Yeah, you'll have the neighbors coming to your garden. Yeah, your neighbors will be coming to the garden. It's like, wow, there's plenty, plenty. Let's use Shara's cards here. Let's get her on, let's get her done. Let's find out what Shara's cards have to say here about this connection. Yeah, they're coming, no doubt about it. Two sets of cards. All of our energy, you can feel them. You feel them, you know it. You can feel it. Come in with love. A love offer on its way. Someone in the in the past was left out in the cold. Possibly you, darling. Left out in the cold and damn. I got the porcupine card. Hell of a lot of pain. And the pain is still there today couple days feeling really good a week feeling really really bad 
couple of days feeling really, really good. A week feeling really, really bad. Good, bad, good, bad. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. Same thing the tarot said. We've got a water sign here. This person may have some air energy in their chart. And I really do feel, I feel, you know what? I was going to say it's them, but I can't say it's them. I'm saying it's you. Wondering when they're going to come back. I know you've heard. I'm not the only one you're listening to. That's for damn sure. You're listening to others saying fast energy coming, quick energy coming at you. But this is wondering when they're coming. This is a couple of days of feeling good and one week of feeling they're never going to come back and just crash and burn. They're never coming back. I know they're not. And just crashing and burning. And wondering, will they ever come back? It's been a long time now. And I don't think they're ever going to come back. And just dying again inside. Dying again inside. Well. Well, someone is making a decision. And again, I have... Pentacles. Someone coming forward with a small gift. Somebody coming forward with a gift of love and a small gift. Somebody making a decision. And I have a Pisces. I have a Pisces. And what happened was uh, you felt that this was your wish fulfillment. It was turned upside down, inside out. Uh, wish fulfillment was, we'll say, delayed and no communication, none. Delayed, no communication, and nightmare card wondering that they're never going to come back. Nightmare card. And Cher is here to tell you. <laughs> there it is. Cher is here to tell you they're coming back. There it is. Somebody wants to take a leap. Someone is in decision right now that someone is possibly a Pisces. Definitely King Neptune is here and Pisces both are here. And this person is in decision of coming back, making a leap. Holy crap. There it is. Star card. There it is. This is divine. Divine. Who would have ever thunk it? <laughs> right? If you sit there and think about it, you think, divine. After all this crap that we went through, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it is. It just needed for both you and that person to stop and think and feel and touch. For your minds to touch, for your souls to touch, for your spirits to stop touch because the shit that went down was not just one-sided you know it I know it you both had shit there and you both had to learn something and now now divine steps in because I think you both changed a lot I think you both changed a lot and now you're ready take a little take a little Take a little, and bam, it's, you're in. You're golden. Look at this. You don't make this shit up. Spirit speaks. The cards speak. Char tells you. Char sees it. Char reads it. Char feels it. I feel it. I felt it before I even came out here. It's like someone needs me. Someone needs to hear this we have an amazing amazing 
twin flame connection here and not a toxic twin flame. No, it might have felt like it was a toxic twin flame, but it's not. It's not. I just felt one was very loving of the other and the other held their emotions very close to the chest and there was a reason and that reason was they weren't ready and that reason was they were frightened and that reason was they have trust issues and that reason was they were scared to death scared to death but with the time that has passed yeah there it is marriage card marriage card I'm just going to pull a couple more. I still have a lot left in the deck. I'm just going to pull a couple more. Uh, finding balance. And I think this is both of you. I think both of you have learned an incredible lesson out of all this hurt and all this pain and all this suffering. are grounding and there is a possibility that this person was a little bit untruthful and unfaithful but the cups are grounding now they're starting to see they're starting to see who their soulmate is who the twin flame is they are finding balance and they are coming and looking back looking back one more card. Well, it's going to be two more cards because this is a gigantic, gigantic um, passion. An incredible, an incredible passion here. And what I see is feeling regretful, feeling remorseful, feeling sad, feeling love, feeling, feeling, finally, finally feeling. And I'm going to put that on both sides, not just their side, both sides. So, darling, uh, that's what Shara's got. Wow. That's, uh, that's amazing. Two decks. Same reading. My darlings, I wish you all the best. I hope this resonated with you. Please give Shara a like and please share. I would appreciate that. Even the thumbs up, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, I hope this resonated with you. If it did, hey, drop me an email. Drop a comment below. And uh, we'd love to hear from you. Even if it didn't resonate, we'd love to hear from you. Namaste, darlings. Thank you for joining me tonight. Namaste.